Today, we will look at misconceptions related to application of decimals. Misconception 1. Ankita is reading a book. She reads one part of the book in 4 hours and 24 minutes and reads the remaining part in 2 hours and 36 minutes. How much time did she take to read the complete book? Sometimes, while representing the time in decimal numbers, hours are written before the decimal point and minutes are written after the decimal point. So 4 hours and 24 minutes is represented in decimal form as 4.24 hours and 2 hours and 36 minutes is represented as 2.36 hours. Then, by adding these two, 6.60 hours is obtained as the result. But this is a misunderstanding because this is not the correct way to represent time in decimals. Let's learn the correct method. As you know, 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. So 1 minute is equal to 1 by 60 hours. Therefore, 24 minutes equals 24 by 60 hours equals 0.4 hours. 4 hours and 24 minutes equals 4 plus 0.4 hours equals 4.4 hours. Similarly, 36 minutes equals to 36 by 60 hours equals 0.6 hours and 2 hours 36 minutes equals 2 plus 0.6 hours equals to 2.6 hours. Total time taken to read the complete book is equal to 4.4 hours plus 2.6 hours which is equal to 7 hours. Misconception 2 Yash travels 2.7 kilometers by auto and the remaining 350 meters by foot while going to school from his house. Can you find out the distance he has to travel from his home to school? While performing mathematical operations with numbers having different units, sometimes students make a common mistake. They simply ignore the units and perform the operation on the numbers. The sum of 2.7 and 350 is found out as 352.7 kilometers, which is incorrect. The correct way to do this is that while performing any mathematical operation, it is important to take care of the units. Here one number is given in kilometers and the other in meters. In such cases, first we need to make the units equal. We need to find the distance in kilometers. So, we will convert 350 meters into kilometers. 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometers. Therefore, 1 meter is equal to 1 by 1000 kilometers, which is 0 0.001 kilometers. Therefore, 350 meters equals 350 by 1000, which is equal to 0 0.350 kilometers. Thus, the total distance is equal to 2.7 kilometers plus 0.350 kilometers, which is equal to 3.050 kilometers. We can write this as 3.05 kilometers by removing the zero from the right side of the decimal number. The correct answer is option 2. Misconception 3. Suyok so purchased 250 grams of cashew, 500 grams of almonds and 750 grams of sugar. He kept them in his empty bag. Find out how many kilograms of weight is there in the bag. Sometimes, students don't read the question properly. Due to this, they give incorrect answers. Some students add weights 250, 500 and 750 to obtain the result as 1500 and choose the option as answer 1. In this question, it is asked to find the sum of 250 grams, 500 grams and 750 grams. The result is asked to be expressed in kilograms. The sum of these numbers is 1500 grams. You must be knowing that 1000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kilograms. That means 1 gram is equal to 0 0.001 kilograms. Now 1500 grams equals 1000 grams plus 500 grams. 1000 grams equals 1 kilogram. Similarly, 500 grams equals 500 by 1000 equals 0.5 kilograms. Therefore, 
1,500 grams equals to 1.5 kilograms. The correct answer is option 2. Today, we have seen misconceptions related to the applications of decimals.